This is a video on how to make a video in WeVideo. WeVideo is a website and it is a movie editor. You can create very simple movies or very complicated movies. We're going to make very simple movies today. And the first thing you need to do is open Google Chrome. Google Chrome is the only web browser that will work. So if you're used to using Safari or Firefox or another one, you have to use Google Chrome to get all the features out of WeVideo. This is the homepage, wevideo.com, and you're going to log in. You already have a username and password, uh, or you already have an account with the school district, and you're going to get there by logging with Office 365. This will take you um, to a screen where you will log in with the same username and password that you use for your email and your school email and um, Schoology, etc. Once you do that, you'll get there. I'm going to bounce over to Chrome where I am already in WeVideo. This is the dashboard. This is just sort of a place to get organized and start. You could create new here. Uh, we're going to go to project, be organized and start a project uh, down here, a new one by pressing the plus and we're going to give it a title. Let's call it uh, example one and a description, how to use we video. Obviously your uh, title and description will be different depending on your assignment. Um, down here in the project type, you're going to choose personal. Uh, this is referring to how you're going to create it. If you're going to create it with multiple people, if you're going to collaborate on the same project, then you could choose this. Um, sharing and some different options, but the, all, all personal means is that you're the only one who's going to see it and when you're done you'll get a link and you will be able to share it when you're done, um, but you're not going to be working with anyone in the creation. So personal and next. Uh, this is if I were to take any of the things I've done before, uh, which I'm not. So I'm going to press next. If I were going to take something that, um, because you can have multiple clips together uh, in one movie, which we will not be doing today. Okay, we are going to create video. We're going to create a blank edit. There are lots of features um, that we have with our account, um, like templates are one of them, where we could make it look uh, pretty great um, and, and it'd be more complicated. We're just going to choose the simplest blank edit and start. Again, here in this stock media uh, view that we're in here, we can see all these different things. So you could listen, choose something you like, drag it down here, put a couple of these together, um, but that's not at all what we're interested in today. We're going to create new stuff. So we're going to go to My Media and we're going to go to Record. That will, again, here are some other things that I did earlier, but we're going to record um, something new. So when you record from, you're going to choose webcam. Um, if you chose screen, that's that's what I'm doing right now, which is recording my voice while you see the screen, and then this would be both. You'll have uh, the webcam. You, you see the picture of someone while you're doing that. Um, when you choose webcam, it's going to ask for access to your microphone and access to your camera. You need to allow access. You need to grant them access so they so um, you can make the recording with your built-in microphone and your built-in webcam. So I'm going to choose webcam. Next, um, at this point, you can see yourself, and this is good to kind of get ready, make sure you see there's a little light behind me. Um, that's not ideal, but it's not very bright. You don't want to be in front of something very light, um, and and have so you get your, your scenery set up here. Once you press start recording, it'll give you three seconds, and then it's showtime. So I'm going to remember to look at the camera, um, which is not exactly natural. Here I'm looking at you know the light up there and you see me a lot of people you see them and they're looking down because they're looking at the screen. So you want to look at the camera, record your thing, smile, press stop. And I'm going to record again because I don't like the look on my face there. Three, two, one. Now I'm at least looking at the camera and smiling at the end because that's probably going to be the thumbnail. That is what uh, everybody will be looking at when it's when it's sitting there on a web page. Um, okay, so we're going to save that. Okay, that's a one second video of me not really saying anything. Yours obviously will be a project, um, uh, something of in more depth. 
Here again is where you could edit it. You could put a title on it. If I had multiple things dragged in, you could add transitions between. I could put text. You see there's an audio line down here. I could have music going while that's in. Um, th these are all things why we have this gallery where we can draw stuff in. But again, today we're just looking at how to create a video. So you have a webcam on your laptop um, and, and you can create these videos and submit them for an assignment. I'm going to press finish and we'll call this don't call it my video one um, we'll, we'll call this green that's me example okay and set now here if I um, if I was recording something where I was performing say for a music class and I didn't like the way it looked but I want I can keep the audio um, then I then all I, I would do this and all that I would export would be the audio. I'm going to do the video with the audio. Um, this day and age, there's really no reason not to do HD. Um, most, you know, your phones and, and, and most things can read that. So uh, this dest uh, next thing down here is a destination. This is the Wii Video symbol, and it just means that it's going to be stored on Wii Video. If you create a bunch of things on your own computer, a bunch of movies take up a lot of space. You'll fill up a hard drive pretty quick. That's a great thing about Wii Video. You store it right here. Um, you could go directly to YouTube if you had a YouTube account. Um, and then, then this is storing it on the OneDrive Cloud. Down here, it's very important that you make the video as public. So when I press this, now it's public. That doesn't mean that people can search for you or on it or anything. It just means that if you give the link to somebody, they can view it. If you don't, if you have this not click like, you know, here, grayed out, then you'll still be able to view it. But if you send that link to anyone, they'll click on it and it will say access denied. Um, so we want to mark video as public, press export, and it may take a moment. Now this is a very short video, so it won't take as long as it probably would with, with what you'll be doing, but still a bit of time. And um, when it is done, it will produce a link that we'll be able to copy. Um, like I said, there are so many more things that you can do in Wii Video, and there's a lot of tutorials and examples online, um, which I posted for you to take a look at if this interests you. Right here is your link. So, you know, you could share it right in, here's that share symbol, There's and you could download it right here if you wanted to keep it. Again, this would be keeping the movie file, not, not one that you'd be editing, but this finished project. But for our purposes, we're going to copy this link right here. I'm going to press Command C uh, for uh, copying. At that point, I'm I'm done and I'm ready to put this right up in the Schoology. You know, you can you can paste that link into into your assignment, into a discussion board, and it'll be good to go. If for some reason you you move past this page or you copy it and then you're typing and you you accidentally copy something else and it's not on your Dash or your clipboard anymore, you can get back to that. Um, so if I were to go to exports, now exports meaning the movies that I finished, I did a couple recently, here's a green example, we'll double click on that, and now here this is that universal share symbol. So I'll click on this and now that gives me access to the link again. So I can copy that, now it's on my clipboard, and again I'd want to go straight to my assignment and paste it in. Um, it, this is the embed code. Embedding is when you put the movie actually on the page instead of a link to the page. Um, but for our purposes, this will be fine. So that is how to create the simplest version. And I hope it gets you started and that um, you, may, you may go a lot further with it if you are interested.